we took what's there, we blew it all up, and instead now we have a whole new aesthetic to the surface maps where you can see the terrain, all the detail on the terrain, trees, rocks, all the structures in the loaded zone. It's a lot easier to navigate. We've also made it easier to get around the cities. Um, you can see markers for all the shops, the enhanced boutiques, the restaurants, you name it, it's all there. It's a lot easier to get around now. With Update 4, we're also adding a bunch of gameplay options. So for that, players can really tune their experience how they prefer. Uh, we're adjusting things like capacity of vendor credits, the actual carry weight. Additionally, uh, affects to difficulty. So some of those, depending on how you play, you can actually tune to be like space combat more so now difficult. now we're turning our attention to the inside of the ships. So we're adding a decorate mode where you can go and fully furnish and customize the interior layout of the ships, um, place the furniture, decorations, basically everything you can do in outpost we'll mode. You set where there's no furniture, there's no decoration, nothing. It's a total blank slate, so players can just kind of fill it up with stuff. Or want to change your alien DNA, and you really want that new dream home experience, you get to choose that when going through the Unity. In addition, you'll be able to have some settings where they can help prioritize between performance or visual. If they choose to prioritize performance, the target FPS will move to 60. And for players that have TVs that support VRR, they'll be able to choose between VRR 40 or VR. This direction. of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. customize all the elements of how you look. You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. It says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. 
but it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The skill system combines the best from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with the resources you find, to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. And you can build your own outposts. These act as a home away from home for survival and resource generation. You can choose where and how to build each one, and you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. But that's not all. You can even build your own spaceships. You can choose crew members, and yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. I have to say, it's so cool, we just absolutely love this.